Crafty Babes, Andrea here. Today I'm going to show you a look inside my Boss Babe Business Binder. And yeah, that's a lot of bees, but it's cool. Uh, so with an online shop, magazine, a YouTube channel, being on several crafty design teams, and the business stuff that goes along with all of that, I was in desperate need of something more than what my A5 planner could provide. I really needed something bigger. I wasn't getting the, the organization that I needed or the space. And what I love most about planners in general is that they can morph and change for whatever stage you're in. And in my case, I didn't have the space I needed to keep all of these things organized and tidy. It was kind of driving me nuts. So once I realized I needed more space, I grabbed my favorite spiral graph notebook because I'm a grid girl and began putting all my brain dumps and sticky notes onto random pages and, you know, until they made it into a more workable task list, but that lasted like two nanoseconds because I realized I needed a lot more structure and I couldn't figure out just by flipping the pages where things belonged. I had this empty three ring binder, got it from Target years ago, and it held many previous projects over the years, uh, but it is the perfect size, the perfect um, pattern and uh, so I decided it wasn't being used at the moment and it was going to be my new business binder so I clipped a little retro hip mama logo to the corner of it and that paper clips gonna be used for something else and you'll be able to see here in just a sec and then I also grabbed my favorite mechanical pencil and my favorite pen for writing tasks and notes and that is the basics of this binder. And then let's see, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm only sharing photos and here's why. So I did film a, a physical flip through, but the problem is that there are things in this binder that I can't really show you. Uh, and that became kind of difficult when I was just flipping to a page and then having to kind of cover things up. So I figured the best thing to do would be to just take some photos so that I can control what you see. I could blur some things out and then we can still, I can still show you and still explain things to you and we'll do that in video form here. So you're basically just going to see photos of what I'm talking about. So when you first open it up, you get a dashboard and it's got some really, uh, essential things. So this binder and this planner is not for decorative purposes at all. It's strictly functional. And so I've got a couple things here on the dashboard. I've got lined post-it notes. So these little mini post-it notes I bought on Amazon and I've basically pulled them in half so I can still have half of the, the stack, you know, here at home. And I glued the back page to the inside cover here so that they always stay there and they are just adhered to the binder. And then I can just pull off a sticky note when I need to make a little note, jot down a sketch or something. And then underneath that, I have a half page blank calendar. So I just used Photoshop or not Photoshop. I used Publisher to make these uh, calendars and it's just they're blank. They're just Sunday through Saturday and I fill in the dates and then there's several stacked under there. So what you'll see when we get to the calendar part is that they one month will flip up and then it turns into the next month and they kind of just run run together so that I can have previous months and future months so I can do a lot of deadlines and planning future planning. And then on the right is the main dashboard. So these are um, multiple sizes of post-it notes and they're all gonna be segment segmented out based on the area of my business in which the tasks are for. So like the one on the left is all for shop or all for magazine things. And then the one on the right is like magazine future stuff. The one on the bottom is kind of just random other things, miscellaneous. And then there's also a shop one in the middle and then um, like an extras. I don't remember what I called it right now because I'm looking at the blurred copy. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, just blurring these things so that, you know, there's some things that I need to keep hidden. So here's a look at the calendar and this is secured with the other side of that paper clip. So it pulls double duty. And the reason why I needed to secure them here is because this is on the front flap. So when I close it, I don't want the calendar kind of 
flying all around. I wanted to make sure it was secure so that it stayed where it was supposed to stay. And I've got it hinged with some washi tape. Now, it's not the best solution and I'm gonna try to figure out something else. But, so if you have suggestions on better ways to hinge stuff, I don't wanna go out and buy a notepad or anything, maybe that would be ideal. So I've got the bottom one secured with washi tape around all the sides and then the top one, it's just hinged and secured on the top and then secured obviously with that paper clip. And then it just flips up so that you can see uh, different months and then I've got you know one month will start at the end of the other month and I've got about five or six months uh, in this little stack so we talked about the dashboard and then here is just a little look at how I place the the sticky note so I'm using just one uh, I'm using a pattern paper from Felicity Jane and this is a ledger paper and I liked it because I like the notebook style of it, but also the paper is has got a bit of a weight to it, but it's not super thick like a cardstock. So it helps um, act as a dashboard divider kind of thing, and that just works for me. It's not too flimsy. So behind that, I keep extra um, graph paper because I'll always need to put the graph paper um, into other sections and it's just the perfect place to kind of hold extra paper and then I've got the other main sections of the business life basically and I did have a podcast tab but I removed that since the show has recently been discontinued I don't need to have a place for podcast notes and so I am going to replace it with a YouTube section which makes a lot more sense uh, and then I just made these by punching out some pattern paper with my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. And then I used my typewriter to type on clear sticker paper for the titles. And then I glued them, but I also secured them with a tiny attacher. And here's a typical inside section. So this is going to be the messy part that is scribble notes, uh, notes from podcasts, sketches, ideas. And then eventually these get turned into a big master list if it's a really large project or smaller manageable lists for the dashboard. And those are called the right now lists. So the right now lists end up on the dashboard and those are things that have to get done right now. Once I dump all of my thoughts here, uh, then the tasks either, like I said, go to a big um, master list if it's a really big project like the magazine that goes onto a gigantic list and then it gets broken down into smaller more manageable lists that go on the dashboard and so here's a sneak at what a master list might look like so this is kind of at the end of uh, the magazine process and i've got different tasks on the right hand side which you actually it's on the left side what you can't see is the page number of the magazine and then what the task is that needs to be done and whether or not it's uh, if it's a check box or if it's a square box it's something i need to do if it's something that has a circle that is empty it means i'm waiting on someone else and then if it's an asterisk it's a photo that i need to take so i've made kind of my own legend so that i can keep track of the things that have to be done and then this I will work off of. This will end up being my my master list that I work off of, and it will get moved to the front. Uh, but since this is this list is is already complete, and so I I don't need this list anymore. So it kind of just goes into the back. And then the other sections that get you know more or less interaction depending on what's going on are shop, newsletter, and then a retro hip mama section and the retro hit mama section holds some older sketches of how the logo came together and some essential billing like non-fun businessy stuff then there's a final section it's not really a section it's just a pocket folder that keeps the most recent version of retro hip magazine so that i can review it and i always have it and i can refer to it if i'm like oh how does this look you know in physical print before i you know make this change or something and this is a a version that's all marked up so you get to see a little tiny sneak of the cover so I've just I found that this is working for me right now and I'm sure it'll morph and change again as, as things change for me in, in the business and the tasks that I'm doing but this is what's working and I can carry this with me everywhere I go it's perfect for my purse I have kind of a big purse 
And so um, I hope that you've been able to grab a few pieces of inspiration from this little look inside my boss babe business binder. I think that's what we're calling it. We're going to call it B to the fourth power because one of my girls <laughs> was making new names for it. Um, so yeah, I think that uh, I, I hope this was helpful for you. <laughs> I was originally just going to do a blog post and then I did a poll on Instagram stories. So if you voted for watching the video with just photos, then this one's for you. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, leave me a comment if you've got any suggestions or let me know what's working for you right now. Um, and also let me know if there's a better way for me to hinge that calendar because I need it to flip. Um, but the washi is not really that sturdy. So give me your tips and I will talk to you guys real soon. Make sure that you like this video. Give it a good thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can just give it two thumbs down and that would be really awesome. <laughs> also, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any cool content because now that I have the podcast off of my plate, um, I will be able to do more videos, which I know um, have been missed. So look forward to that and I will talk to you guys really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.